The traffic training course objectives include a solid understanding of traffic, the architecture of traffic, and all the components that comprise traffic. We'll learn in this course exactly all the configurations, the architecture principles, and why certain components are used and some are not. We'll also understand the basics of what a load balancer does, a, a edge proxy, an edge router, and understand how traffic is solving these challenges with the traffic software. The next thing we'll learn in this course is how to deploy traffic. This is very important because we'll understand not only how to deploy it, but automate the deployment, as well as how do we do dynamic changes. So when we start a new container, how does traffic become aware of this container? So we'll learn how to deploy traffic and also understand what's required for production. The final course objective is we'll learn how to maintain traffic. This is probably the most important point because you know, once we deploy something, day two operations becomes critical as we need to make sure we observe everything. So we're gonna monitor and log traffic, as well as we're gonna maintain it with operations. We wanna understand exactly what's happening through the dashboard of traffic. So we have a lot to cover in this course. It's gonna be exciting because it's really interesting material and you're gonna learn a ton about everything traffic includes. Now, what is the traffic training outline? The traffic training is gonna be action-packed course because there's a ton of material. And the first thing we're gonna start with is a traffic introduction. And this introduction is gonna cover the background of traffic. So the early concepts, why traffic was developed, and then how it integrates into Docker Swarm and how does traffic and Docker Swarm operate together, and then final general concepts. You know, how does ingress traffic work and how does traffic handle the routing and the different components? How does that make up traffic configurations? The next thing we'll understand is the traffic configuration concepts. This is probably the most critical chapter because this defines exactly how we're gonna enable traffic to handle our workloads. So not only our workloads, but how does an incoming request become handled and then route it to the backend. So we'll understand both dynamic and static configuration in this section. Next is routing and load balancing. We'll learn how to load balance different ingress uh, requests across multiple backends. And we'll also learn how to route different domains to different backends. So there's a lot to cover in this section as well. The next section is how do we turn on TLS, HTTPS, and let's encrypt on our ingress traffic. This is also going to be quite interesting because we have different components and we also have let's encrypt, which traffic manages this automatically for us. Next is middlewares, and middleware is between the ingress and the backend. And this is how we can actually modify or uh, configure the requests as they come before they're actually handled, handed off to the backend. So there's a lot of middlewares we can cover and it's, it's continually growing. Next up is observability. So here we're gonna enable monitoring and logging for traffic and understand exactly what we're seeing when we're watching these monitoring and logging events happen. And finally, how do we operate traffic after it's been deployed? And the final tip is advanced tips. So we'll dive into some tips and best practice on exactly what we're gonna do in the, in the event we have special use cases or some of our experience we've used over the different installations we've had with traffic.